A long ride. How long did it take for you to get here? I think more than a half, more than an hour. Oh, I think I think like two hours or so. So very long way. And she came from. Um, we're work, we're very happy to work with her because uh, we've been working with her for two years. And she can she came um, from the Hong Kong Child and Family Bereavement Center. Okay, but she also works um, closely with the hospital. Is that right? Yeah, I yeah. work in the hospital with the bereaved mm -hmm. family. Okay, so we're happy to have you here because all the classes, all the Humanities 1 and Action classes will get to work with the kids for two sessions this year, okay? So give, please give her a warm welcome. Uh, we're here to give us an orientation and especially trying to help her understand um, the kind of children and their families that she serves so that before we uh, go and you know do activities with the kids that we have a better understanding of where these kids are from and what kind of issues they have. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, hi, um, nice to meet you guys and uh, my name is Vivian and I'm going to introduce a little bit about um, what kind of work I'm doing in the hospital with the kids and um, about the kids that you are going to uh, see to interact with. Um, but um, before I start, may I have a show of hand? Um, let me know who have been working with kids before. You know, uh, most of you. We, we just got back from an orphanage in, <laughs> in China uh, about a week and a half ago, so together. Oh, so, oh, so can all, someone tell me about your whole experience class. of working yeah. with a, a Chinese kid? Yeah, so and, they, and, they, and, they are and Chinese uh, Patan, we're in Patan. Oh. And it was in, uh, so they're, they're kind of normal children and they're also special needs children. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I, I, I just saw a hat. It was oh. epic. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you guys do with that play? play? Yeah. But you don't speak the same language with the kids, so how Some do you do it? <laughs> so let's do the interpretation. Or you just, you just play with them. You, 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 you kind of find a way to communicate with them. By body language. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. nang 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 and stuff. <laughs> okay, so that's good. So you have some experience with um, kids that are not, not with your own language. And how old were they? Two babies, two. Yeah, they're like all <laughs> 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 So mostly the younger kids in primary school, I guess. Uh, uh, kindergarten? Yeah. Well, there was like, no, a, they were like they were like babies, like seven months. There was like a huge range of kids. Okay. Yeah, it was like lots and lots of babies. And then yeah. like a group of yeah. teenagers. Okay. Yeah, so the kids that you're going to meet with, um, obviously they come from a, a bereaved family. So anyone knows anything about bereavement? What do I mean by bereavement? Yeah. Isn't it for like kids who've had all their parents? All their parents. Yeah. yeah um, the kids that you're going to see, some of them have one of their parents um, died from cancer or other related uh, other incidents like that. Um, car accident, suicide. So basically one of their parents died. And um, some of them, their parents are still there, but um, with a uh, very serious cancer that won't be cured. So a palliative patient. So um, here, let's see. So this is our target children um, that you're going to see. They're mostly from kindergarten and some of them primary school students. Um, yep. Mothers or fathers were um, terminally ill, or some of them are died. So some of the common misconception about child movement. So can you? Okay, let's pretend if you are a parent of a little kid and your partner is going to die. <coughs> so um, what would you do? Will you try to tell the kid, "Oh, your father or mother is going to die"? Will you tell them? You have to. You have to. Why? Because otherwise, where did dad go? Mm -hmm. no. You don't want any other... Yeah. Yeah. You don't want them thinking anything else out. Yeah, exactly. When you don't tell them the truth, they can't imagine things that that's yes. way worse yeah. than what is happening. But um, in the Chinese culture, many people, um, like Chinese people, they don't really talk about death. They, maybe you, you know it. 